here with Easy Tech. They have the vapor phase, and uh, this is the owner. Uh, Zach is going to tell us a little bit about his product. Please, Zach, tell me, why are your PC in liquid? Okay. We're doing a uh, full liquid immersion for it. And uh, I think it's up at uh, 7,000, which is a tasteful scale of time. We're doing it to super cool everything, uh, not just the CPU or GPU. And the uh, so what we're looking at doing is uh, 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 cooling everything. Oh. Uh, and uh, 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 those are two players. Uh, 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 the graphics card is under a new set of on Resident 18. Now we're using the one in the super bar to load the graphics card. And we're getting about 47 to 49 degrees temperature range on that. So let me get this straight. You actually have three instances of Burmark running at the same time, right? Actually four. Uh, four? You can't see the fourth behind the, the monitoring program. Very cool. So you've got four instances running at the same time. What is this? A GTX? Uh, it's, it's a sorry, 560 Ti. It's a 560 Ti. Correct. There's no way you'd be able to pull that off on a normal system. I mean, you'd be frying that video card. Correct, sir. So, what's the temperature on the video card cooled by your system right now? Uh, you're looking at uh, 48 degrees C or 118 degrees Fahrenheit. That is unbelievable. And and. Am I to guess that that is not actually water in there, right? Uh, you are correct. It okay. Is yeah. <laughs> so, uh, needless to say, I can't just take a cup and drink it, right? Uh, in the range, good. Uh, I, I could drink that. I'm going to say, yeah, would I want to drink that? No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, but it is uh, fairly non-toxic as far as it is. Now, am I also correct in thinking that these heat sinks are not a standard part you are correct. Okay, so this is something that you guys put on afterwards. Correct. And why do you put these on versus the heat sink that comes on it? Uh, what we're looking at is this enhances the capability of the boiling of the fluid. Uh, so this has a proprietary coating on it that uh, uh, is uh, diamond, and it's actually baked at 825 degrees Celsius. So we're talking about more surface area to cool. Absolutely. Okay. Now, most liquid cooling systems actually circulate the fluid via a pump. And we talked yesterday, and there's no pump in this system. No, sir. We are using natural convection and the boiling action okay. to circulate the fluid. So now, initially I'm thinking that a pump would increase the, uh, the cooling, but actually thinking about it, you have one less part mechanically to fail. To, to fail. Correct. Okay, so I see this huge radiator on top here. This is just then for condensation. We're not talking about passing fluid actively through the system. Okay. Yeah, we're turning it into a vapor and then uh, recondensing it in a radiator. A radiator is actually oversized for our application. Uh, the radiator is rated for about a thousand watts of heat dissipation. Uh, we're doing about 460 watts through it right now. That is absolutely awesome. And is this? Pretty much final form factor. Am I looking at a finalized product? Uh, no, sir, we're not. Uh, we're okay. looking at uh, further development of the product, and uh, uh, hopefully, we'll have something out within uh, next year. And, and what's your website URL? Tell, uh, tell our readers where they can go look at this. Our website is uh, www.vaporphasewithaz.com, and uh, you can keep up with us on that. It's awesome. And when are they going to be able to buy this? Uh, hopefully, next year. <laughs> next year. So, we're not looking at a product available right now. No, sir. So, no, sir. for the future, you guys can take a look at this now. Maybe it'll change. I'm assuming some iterations are going to go with some engineering. Uh, what are they looking at in terms of a price tag? Because this is awesome. I would love to sit this on my desk. That would be so cool. Um, we're going to try to hit a sweet spot in the market for about $2,500 to $3,500 uh, to uh, basically get it into the marketplace and get it to, uh, as an accepted technology. Okay. And one of the things we discussed yesterday, Zach, uh, it is kind of a more expensive uh, uh, price on this. Correct. But we're also talking about something that you don't have to change the fluid on for what, three years? Three years, correct. Three years, and then you're talking about what, add another gallon of fluid and done. Correct. That's right. What, this case represents about one and a half gallons of fluid here. Uh, we'd like to see about a half a gallon um, to a gallon worth of fluid on a production model. Awesome. Are they going to be able to stick a full size ATX board in there and run? Uh, at this point, no, because we're trying to keep the, the, the volume of the liquid down. Um, uh, the uh, key to this fluid is, is we can actually do more thermal density on circuit design than anyone else. Uh, so what we're looking at having done is custom boards made um, that represent the thermal density that this can handle. Uh, if you had 500 watts in a centimeter cubed, I could cool it to an acceptable temperature with a liter of this fluid. 
Yeah, awesome. So awesome. It's, it's, uh, it's just amazing what this can do. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Jack. I appreciate it, sir. It's an absolutely awesome product. Can't wait to see it. Uh, see a review of it on our website. All right. I appreciate it, sir.